Exercise that you do. Consider that, consider that the human tower is to be performed on a stage and the stage has a maximum weight limit. Write a Python program to find the maximum number of people at the base level such that total weight of tower does not exceed maximum weight limit of the stage. Assume that each person weighs 50 kg. There will be always all number of men at the base level of the human tower. So we'll have to find the maximum people uh, uh, here in this function. Before that, we need to call, say for example, if I do not know, let's assume if I'm going to have only 100, right? So we know that only one uh, human can form a human tower. Because if you're going to have more than one, if you're going to have three men at the base level, because it's always odd number at the base level, three men at the base level, then one man will be the uh, top level. Three into uh, three plus one, four, four into 50, it becomes 200. So we know that only one man at the base level. So we'll have to call out the human parameter function first, then find maximum people. So the logic here is very simple. So we know this this helps us to identify weight of a human tower. So we do not know how many per people can be there uh, with a maximum weight of thousand. So what we do is we'll have to start from one basic one. So we call out we call out um, weight we intermediate while true. This this function always is true until unless it breaks. Human parameter of one it returns a result. If we say uh, for one it returns result, one is the weight whichever it is returned less than max weight, then what we do is we increment the number of people uh, by two, right? Uh, then what happens? So while it goes up, this function is again called for three persons it is calculated, goes up, for five person it is calculated. When it is less than, when it is exceeds thousand, we break it. When it exceeds thousand, number of people also would have increased by two. For example, I can tell you, Let's take a simple example as 100. Let's visualize this, right? So we take um, we take number of people as one. We, we we call this method human parameter of one. So what happened? It gives us a result. Human parameter is called. It gives returns 50. So we check if weight is less than or is equal to maximum weight. Weight is 100. Uh, the uh, maximum weight is 100, and the current weight is 50. Yes, it is less than or equal to 100. What do you do? Increment number of people value by 2. It becomes 3. But what happens when we calculate the, the other function, human tower function, right? It will return. <coughs> so it returns value, it returns first uh, 200. So when it is 200, if weight is less than or equal to maximum weight, no, it is not. So, so what happens? Now, maximum weight is 100. But you calculated something for number of people for three uh, for 200 above the limit. So what we do is just because of the incremental last time, no, we do not know <coughs> when it exceeds 100. We may not know when it exceeds 100. Exactly, we cannot get to know when it exceeds 100. But we know that uh, you know which how many number of people we would would exceed 100. We do not know. But we know that when it exceeds 100, we can break the process and. And of course, we increment 2 by 2 because it's always odd number of people. If we say 3, 3 at the lower level, 1 at the top level. Then when this is not met, then what we do? We increment 2 by 2. Then 3 number of people will become 5, 3 plus 2, 5. So 5 lower level, 3 at the middle level, 3 plus 5 plus 3, 8, 1 at the bottom, 9. 9 into 5, 450. So this is how it works. So <coughs> we incremented. When it exceeds, we stop the process and decrease the value of number of people by minus 2. This is what we do. We break the process and return minus 1, 3 minus 2. So what happens? It will always within the limit. So you can also try changing with a different value. You can try for 1000. Right? It returns 7. Let's visualize this. So you know that 1000 number of people currently 1. Then we call this function now. number of people now become increase increase into three. We do not know how many number of people uh, will weigh close to thousand. Then we try for three. Three is returns only two hundred. So now then we increment number of people by two five. So five into five we know uh, two fifty uh, uh, five at the level or lower level three at the middle level one at the top level. 
five three one. We calculate and we get the result as four fifty. Now, then what happens? We go for a seven number of people. We calculate human tower seven plus five plus three plus one. So put together seven plus five twelve. Twelve plus three fifteen, and then sixteen. Sixteen into fifty. We know eight hundred, right? Eight hundred. Yes, we calculate eight hundred. Within it is within the limit. So what we do? Since the weight is within the maximum limit, we add two more people from seven. It goes to nine. So when we calculate nine, it actually exceeds, right? For nine, seven, five, it's a recursive function. It gives us values like that. One. So one returns fifty. Then three returns two hundred, five returns four fifty, seven returns eight hundred, and nine returns one two five zero. It has exceeded thousand to thousand. So what we do? We reduce number of people value by two, and break the process. We break the process and reduce the number of people value by two and return the result. That's how it works. Is good this verify all the test cases are passed. That's a good.